So the personal plan, the first thing is you have to prioritize your personal expenses. This work sucks to be clear. That'd be 100% clear. This sucks. And the more that you've neglected your expenses, the harder it is. Yeah. There's your relation. The more you've neglected your expenses, the harder this is for you to do. On the other side of that, the more you've neglected, the more you probably need to do this. And it should be hard. So how do we prioritize our expenses? I look at it as sorting my expenses into three categories, A, B, and C. Okay. Fixed expenses, lifestyle choices, and then all the extras. You can separate it, call it whatever you want. I like three categories. Here's my fixed expenses. Boom, 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 boom. My mortgage, my electric bill. Here's my lifestyle. I go to Disney with my family. I take a summer vacation. We like to have Netflix. And then here's my extra. We went out to dinner six times this week. Okay. We bought $4,000 worth of stuff on Amazon that we didn't need. We bought all new furniture. Where that lifestyle and that extras come into play, you have to figure that out. And if you're unsure, is this a lifestyle expense or an extra? It's always an extra. So I would challenge you to go back three months of your personal expenses, go back three months and put them into fix, fixed expenses, lifestyle, and extra. It's not fun work. Let me tell you, it's not fun work. But what I can tell you is it brings a great result for your life. What do you want? The choice is yours. So after you do that, what you'll figure out is how much you have as fixed lifestyle and um, and extra. So the next piece I'm going to do there is I want to create a spending plan. Yep, I want to I want to create a plan on where I want that money to go. If you don't know where you want your money to go, let me tell you, it will just magically disappear. So where do you want it to go? You know, my kids play sports. I would love as a parent and my wife would love it too, to be able to invest money into our kids' sporting events. That's part of our lifestyle choice. Now, when we do that and then we go out to eat six times and then we have this, this, and this, and we went out to the, all that could be extra. But to get to the event, that's a lifestyle choice. So how do I help do that? I bring a cooler with me and I pack food in my cooler that I buy at the grocery store. And I save about 80% of my costs because I want to go to the game, but I don't want to have to go out to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then have all this extra. And if I want to buy drinks at the bars, it's cheaper. If I bring my own beer, that that's how we do it. So we want to create a spending plan. This gets a little tough, like I said. And especially if you're married, let me be clear, if you're married, it's a lot tougher. <laughs> Very rarely are two husband and wife on the same page. I can't help you there. Next part after that is I want you to understand your 12 month rolling average for what you spend personally. You know, I could tell you how much I've spent every month going backwards, about seven years. I know how much I spend on average every single month. And that's my budget. It fits my lifestyle. I have the house. I live in a, in all reality, I live in a pretty small house for how much real estate I am. And I'm okay with that. It's my, it's my choice. I'd rather own more houses that pay me money than have a bigger house that I pay money for. That's my choice. I want you to understand the 12 month average so that you can say every month, I spend $4,000 on my personal life. And then we can say, you know what? Should it be five? Should it be three? You can actually have a conversation about what should it be when you know what it is. Next part, create a will. Doesn't have to be fancy. This is just out of an obligation. I'm giving one back to the world, to your kids, to anybody coming after you. Create a will for someone else. Now, someone might say, well, Austin, how's this in the personal plan? And it reminds me of a quote, as you climb up the mountain, throw some dirt back in the valley in case you fall. Something happens to you, throw some dirt back in the valley, go invest 500 bucks. You can probably do it online for free too, but you got to prepare for some stuff. You can't leave a big mess behind you as you're trying to get to your greatness. As you're trying to summit the peak here, 
You got you got to do some responsible things. So there's one for you right there. Um, next piece here, this is one of the ones pieces that I loved and I've done for a very long time is get update a net worth sheet. So put all of your assets and all your liabilities on one sheet and then have it total at the bottom. And I call it my island money. Okay, what do I mean by that? If I were to sell everything and move to an island, how much money would I have? And it gives you a base to grow off of it. It helps you understand what are my assets? Where do I owe money? And how do I make these grow? And so I'd ask you to, to first do it and then to track it and update it every six months. It's pretty cool to see when I was on welfare, what I had, and then what do I have today? And to watch it grow and to watch it stack and how did it grow and what did I do and what did I own and what did I sell? What did I pay off? Where did I borrow from? Last two things here, debt reduction plan. Once you know what you spend every month, all those extras, the first thing I want you to do in the next three months is to reduce 25% of that. So let's, for an example, let's say your extras add up to $1,000 a month. Okay. I want you to create a plan for the next month and month and month afterwards to, to minus 25% of that 1000 so now your extras are down to 750. Now, some people might say, well, Austin, I like that stuff. That stuff makes me happy. Well, great. Do you want to be happy today or happy later? Because you have a house, you have a lifestyle, you have all these things that should make you happy. Why does all this extra stuff make you happy too? Because I coach a lot of people. Let me tell you, their future lives aren't where they want them to be. That's why they coach. Is to say, hey, I want something more. I want to figure out a better way to do this. Well, a better way to do this is to have a debt reduction plan for those extras. Start at 25%, do that for three months, and then take that to 50% from month three to six. Yeah. Now, some people might not like me right now because they're going to say, you're taking away all my fun. Yes, I am. So you can have more fun later. So with that extra money now that I found, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to invest that back into your future, which you can see is the last one here. We're going to invest that into your future so you can get to where other people aren't going to get to. Now, yes, you'll have to live on a little bit less right now. Yes, you don't get to spend all that. You don't go to get to go out six times a week. Maybe you eat out twice. You go to the grocery store. You have the food come in. Okay, But now you can invest into your future. And my, my advice is 10% here.